Hey y'all, Ivanka here. Welcome back to our Kentucky home. Hey, I just wanted to give you guys an update on my um if you didn't see the video, you won't you won't know, but if you saw the video that I had done um I guess it was maybe the beginning of last week that I had started taking the moringa leaf um to try to take it for my arthritis. Um because of all the videos I had seen that people had, you know, success stories with taking it. So, you know, I thought, well, I'm going to try that because it's, you know, something natural, you know, it's a plant. Um, so at that point I had been taking it for a week and a half. And then if you saw mine and John's last video, our squat and squawk video, um, you saw that I had been, um under the weather so at that time i thought i was coming down with something um and then i had a major all over body rash or hives or whatever you want to call it so that was on we did that video on sunday this is now wednesday so going back Friday, as I'd mentioned on our last video, I had broken out in a, that was when I had broken out in the rash. Um, Saturday, I didn't take anything. I didn't take any of my regular vitamins or anything. I was feeling so bad. I just, I didn't take anything. Um, so Sunday, I went to the dog urgent care and of course they, you know, tested me for a couple of things and those were negative. And so, I was still just thinking, you know, I was having a reaction to either something I had come in contact with, you know, or something, something in the air or something I had, you know, contracted from somebody else or something, you know. Um, anyway, it was quite a mystery. So Sunday, when John and I did our last video, I actually took my moringa leaf that day. Saturday was the only day I didn't take it. Um, I took my moringa leaf Sunday and by Sunday night I was in a full body hives rash again and um, by I did I hardly slept sunday night um i was literally burning all over um my feet were burning so bad sunday night when i was trying to sleep that um i, I couldn't sleep so monday morning i w i felt so bad i was just like i had been burnt all over and um, the rash did not bother me as much as the overall feeling of my body and my head at that point um i was at the point of being scared that something really bad was getting ready to happen so Obviously, by that time, I had figured out it was the moringa leaf that was causing it because I had skipped Sunday, started to improve, or I had, sorry, I had skipped Saturday, started to improve by that night, and then I t had taken it again on Sunday, and I was right back in the same condition, only worse. So, I can't really describe what it was doing to me um the rash part was obvious but um this and i'm still trying to recoup um i'm uh, my head is still a little cloudy M my thoughts are a little mixed up um just you know i don't know how to explain it really so Monday morning, John actually came home from work early because 
I was not in good shape. And um, I was beginning to think there was different times throughout Monday up until late Monday evening. I thought I'm going to I'm going to have to go to the hospital or something because something is happening that is not good right now. So the flag is flying over my face. Um, so I'm trying not to make this really long, but uh, if any of you have started taking it, if you want to continue taking it, that's totally up to you because I know everything doesn't affect everybody the same way. But if you've started taking it, um, I would stop taking it because John got to reading up more because everything, I mean, I had watched video after video. I'd read article after article before I ever started taking it. And all I, all I saw was, you know, rave reviews and people talking about what good results they had. Um, so John started looking into it further, actually before he came home Monday morning. And um, he came across one article in particular of the pictures of the the lady um, was her rash or hives or whatever were exactly like mine. It was the exact same thing. And it happened to her exactly the way it happened to me at exactly the two week point of starting the moringa leaf was when her um, when her allergic reaction happened. What I did not know is that it was coming on that whole full week before it got to that point. Because if y'all remember in our last video, I was talking about how I had felt so bad that whole week. And off and on, it felt like I was running a low-grade fever. Um, sorry, all my animals are out, but it's fine. Um, been running. I felt like I had, and I don't know that I was actually running a fever because I checked my temperature a couple of times and it was normal but that whole week leading up to the real um allergic reaction was it coming on it was the beginning beginning of the allergic reaction and i didn't know it i thought i was coming down with something because you know that's what it felt like um it was bad it was bad and I could try to explain it and I can't. Um, but I mean, if, if you're on it and you've been on it for, you know, a long time, then you're, I'm sure you're not allergic to it. But from what he was reading, what I experienced was typical. If you're going to have a real, an allergic reaction, it's like exactly two weeks from the time you start it. Annie, please stop. Um, I don't want to leave anything out. Like I said, I'm, I'm not cuckoo, but I'm having a, still having a little bit of a hard time thinking real straight or just it, things are kind of jumbled. My days have been mixed up. Um, I've almost kind of lost a couple of days. I think, I think just because I, you know, was felt so bad, but anyway, so the thing is, is this, when you have a reaction like this, it's not just, okay, I had a, I'm having an allergic reaction. It can actually, and I think I was this close to anaphylactic shock. I really do. And um, because that's what it can lead to. And I believe if I had taken another dose of that on Monday, that's exactly what would have happened to me. And, um, you know, I don't know. I I might not have been able to get to a hospital quick enough. So that's how bad it was. I like I said, I can't really explain it, but I don't want anybody to experience that. So if you have just started taking it or you're thinking about taking it, I would not take the chance. I wouldn't. It's not worth it. Um and from what John read, here's the thing. The article he read that it said that over the last several years, the cases of allergic reaction to the moringa leaf um, has increased 
very much. I don't remember what the percentage was. But, um, sorry, my lips <laughs> almost feel kind of numb. So, I don't know. If I seem weird, it's because I'm a little weird still. So, um, but anyway, he was reading that that the cases had drastically increased of people having an allergic reaction to the moringa leaf. So, um, I, I just, I have since taken down my video where I talked about, which I wasn't promoting it. I was simply saying that I was, you know, st had started taking it, uh, and was hopeful, you know, that it would help me. Um, but I have taken that video down. I do not want to encourage anybody to take it. I wouldn't wish this on anybody. And I wouldn't take the chance if I were you. Um, you know, if you ordered it because I was talking about it, I'm sorry. Of course, I didn't know. And at that time, I, you know, didn't really have anything to say about it either way. But, um, if you have started taking it and you're just shy of the two week point and if you're feeling anything at all like you're coming down with something or or something you know just a little different than usual i would stop taking it and i would not take it again my mistake was i took it again on sunday because i still didn't know i thought i i thought i had something <laughs> I still didn't know because uh, my thought was, well, if I was allergic to something, I would have been allergic to it when I first started taking it. If you're allergic to it, you're allergic to it. Well, that's not true because this obviously, and like other things, I'm sure, has to be fully built up in your system. So at the two-week point, I'm thinking that's when, that's when it has fully... Um, um, built up to its highest point in your system. Um, you know, you've built up to that point and um, that's when all heck breaks loose if you're allergic to it and it's dangerous. It is dangerous. And I, and like I said, I'm not exaggerating. I believe I was once one more, probably one more little capsule, to be honest, um, from anaphylactic shock. I believe I was very close to that. And I was taking Benadryl that whole uh, last two days, I guess. Yeah. So that may have been the only thing that helped keep it at the at the level it was at without sending me on over the edge. Because, like I said, I can't really explain it. I'm having to hold the flag. Um. Um. It's a all enveloping feeling Monday what I Sunday and Monday what I had that I didn't have on Friday when the rash and stuff first started after that dose on Sunday um, everything started squeezing my chest my ribs it's like and I never really was short of breath except when I got close to where I was panicking um, I could still breathe, but it was like I was being squeezed. So, um, and then, you know, um, I guess, I don't know if, it, if brain fog is even, I don't think that's even the right way to describe it. But um, anyway, I don't recommend it. And from what John saw, it's, more and more um, happening more and more I don't know if something's being done to it over the last several years to change it to what maybe it used to be I don't know I don't I don't know I don't have that info but all I can tell you is what it did to me and what sounds like um, has happened to a lot of other people and it can kill you you can go into anaphylactic shock and i believe i was right on the verge of that and i'm just um just been thanking the lord that you know he took care of me and he saw me through 
and I finally, you know, figured out that I, you know, I wasn't coming down with something. It was the stuff I was taking. I just thought, well, you, you know, I would have had an allergic reaction a long time ago, but I was starting to have an allergic reaction a week before that. I just didn't know it. I didn't know that's what it was. So I just wanted to share this with you guys because I do not want it, this to happen to anybody. And I sure don't want it to be because of the video I did saying that I was had started taking it. Um, so if you started taking it, of course, that's up to you if you want to continue it. But watch for the signs. Uh, if you feel like you're getting sick or something like that, you're not getting sick. You're having an allergic reaction. Because, um, you know, I'm sure there's people that could take it right now and they would never, you know, have a reaction to it but I wouldn't take that chance to me it's not worth it so if I have repeated myself a lot I'm sorry um I'm, I'm still a little mixed up a little bit but uh it's it's getting better and uh so I just wanted to share that with you and I didn't want to wait any longer because and just in case I some you know encourage somebody to start taking it um so I wanted to, I want to get this out there and let you know that you know just because you see you know things that work a certain way for people and I guess it has because everything I saw about it was you know just just great but um not for me not for me and i think it would have killed me had i had i taken it another day i think it would have killed me and i'm not just trying to be dramatic i really believe that so um anyway i hope this helps you like i said i hope i've not like repeated everything a hundred times if i did i'm sorry um uh, so i don't recommend moringa leaf not at all not one little bit of it i recommend it so little that i threw all four bags of my moringa leaf in the trash the one bag i had open i had a a tablespoon measuring spoon in there i would not even touch that spoon to get it out of the bag before i threw the bag away i took a dish towel and wrapped it around my hand and wrenched in there and got that spoon out because that's when I was so sick on Monday. And I thought, I, if I even get any on my skin, it's probably going to, you know, just finish me off. That's how bad it was. And that's how scared I was of it. So, um, anyway, everybody has to do what they feel. Um, but that's how I feel. Because <laughs> I know what it did. And... Um, it's, you know, even when you think you've researched and you've looked in and you've looked into stuff, um, it's, you know, you don't really know because everybody tolerates things differently. But what, you know, the stuff that John found that uh, seems like these, the cases like mine are on the rise with this, it makes me wonder if something's been done to it. Uh, you know, I don't know. And I won't even go into that because I don't know. But um, anyway, just wanted to give you this info and um, I'm okay now. I'm not good, but compared to um, Monday, I'm great. So uh, just still trying to, I guess, get it all filtered out of my system after being on it for two weeks. So I hope this is helpful to you. And um, mainly, I hope I deter you from taking it. That's what I want to do. So I hope you all have a wonderful day. And um, I am going to have another video. I haven't done it yet, but um, probably, I don't know if it'll be today or may do it today and post it tomorrow or something on um, something completely different. Um, a new little, little something I got. And um, so I'll be sharing that. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. 
And until next time, God bless.